You say you have a great many of the man's plays. How many? We have 18 or so altogether. None of them ever printed before. We have a Caesar and Macbeth, as you like it. Well, with my 18, we could print a lot of them then, couldn't we? Your 18? That's right. My 18 plays by William Shakespeare have been printed by me. So though you managed to shut down my last attempt to publish your friend, I stand here willing to forgive that slight and forge ahead for a complete collection. No, no. William Jaggard at your service. Oh, for God's sake, Henry. Get out, you dog, Henry. He comes here to forgive us, to forgive us. You shut down my presses. You cost me coin. I could sue you in the damages. You stole those plays, which you had no right to print, nor call wills. Poets don't have rights. Not to their name, not to their work. This is business, friends. No harm in it. There is harm in deceit. There's always harm in that. Yes, and we only want to make it right. What we want is a deal. A partnership between us to create a volume of plays by William... No! Again and again, no. If you want to do this, you cannot do this without me. We can and will. We don't need your filthy business. And what about the plays to which you have no rights? You said poets don't have rights. Well, printers do, and lawyers, and investors, and those are the ones you really don't want to fuck with. We'll get the rights from the honest men who want the first and only authorized version of Shakespeare, as in the actual author. And how much of that work is there without your friend's Hamlet? Good old Smithwick owns that one. And Romeo and Juliet gave me the rights to both. What about Much Ado? That's Aspley's title, already on board. And the Richards and the Henrys, both crowd favorites, both mine. And who would buy your collection without them? Because I wouldn't. Father, please. Let me be frank. I know you don't have the funds to do this. I do. I know you don't have the means to print. I do. You don't have the rights to the plays, but I've already brought together a syndicate of owners willing to invest in this folio's production. So suddenly you have the money, the rights, the text, the presses, and nothing else standing in your way except an old blind man asking to be friends. So, is there a deal to be made, gentlemen? Have you ever seen a play of his, ever? I? Pericles, I believe, it didn't really move me. You son of a... Father, we should go. Yes, I think you'd better leave now, Master Jaggard. We'll consider your proposal. Thank you, sirs. No, we will not. You should. Until tomorrow, when I begin printing half the collected works of William Shakespeare. Good day. Isaac? <laughs>